Welcome to the SolidCam University channel. This video's topic is fourth axis setup. So the fourth axis could refer to a mill turn part, so a lathe with live tooling, or it could refer to a uh, milling op operation that is three plus one, X, Y, Z, plus the rotary axis. So to set that up is pretty much the same as setting up a regular mill part or a regular turning part. We basically just go to tools, solid cam, new. And in this case, milling versus mill turn. Again, we're talking about fourth axis. It could be either one of those. The setup is the same. But for this, I'm just going to choose milling. Everything on the side here is the same as it usually is. We'll just choose external versus internal, the name of the file, metric versus inch. Okay, now because the post processor dictates everything we do here, we'll need to choose a fourth axis post. So I'm just gonna scroll through here until I find my fourth axis post. Okay, so there we are, that's a fourth axis post, and we'll add our coordinate system. Now, the options are the same, except here under place coordinate system origin two, I'm actually gonna tell it to put it at the center of a revolution face. So my part happens to have a revolved face representing the OD of this, of this bar stock. So I'll click on select face, choose on that revolved face, and it places the Z axis dead center of the part. So that's how I'm machining. Uh, SolidCam is gonna figure out where the center of the part is, where the rotary axis will be. Now, in this case, on this particular machine that I've selected, it's actually the X axis, that is the rotary axis. So I'll do a flip around Y. So now the X axis is my rotary axis. And I want my Z to point in a direction of one of these features, let's say the pocket. The reason being is the Z is your tool axis. So when you're doing fourth axis, you wanna make sure the Z points in the direction that you want to machine. In this case, if I'd like to start with that pocket, I might as well just make that my, my Z direction. That way I don't have to index it just to get to that pocket, just to begin the first operation. I'll make that my zero degrees. So to kind of align that, I'm just gonna to go to the pick Y direction, since Y is almost parallel with that. I'm just gonna make that parallel. And now we have the X as my rotary axis and my Z pointing the opposite direction. Well, just to fix that, we're just going to do a rotate around X twice. And now Z is pointing straight up. So when we set this up on the, on the machine, this face, this pocket, we can do automatically at zero degrees. There's our Mac one position one. That is our setup axis. Now, eventually I'm gonna to wanna to do the hole and possibly one of these other flats. So to set up an indexed position for your fourth axis work, indexed meaning I'm gonna rotate the part to get to one of these faces. Again, I need the Z to point at one of those faces. So I'll just go to add, Mac one position two indicates that this is still using the same origin as Mac one position one. I'm not setting up a new offset or anything, but I'm just telling it a second position, a second angle to, to, uh, to get this part at. Now, to set up subpositions, we don't have to set up a new coordinate system. We'll just use the same one as coordinate system number one. So I'll just say Mac one position two, the Z is pointing in this direction. So now with the Z pointing in that direction, I can say, I, I wanna do operations on this face. We'll do the drilled hole using that operation. get back to the previous screen. Typically with fourth axis work, if you're working with bar stock, you might want to have a cylindrical bar stock representation on your screen. So I'm gonna use the 3D model option and select this, uh, this solid that I put on the screen here as my bar stock. And that's it. And in terms of the target, the target is the final piece. So similar to the way you would have set up a regular three axis mill, except with the coordinate system dead center of the part. That way we can rotate around the center of the part, in this case around the X axis. Bringing this in as an assembly pretty much means that uh, I have these solids overlaying. So I'm just gonna get rid of that second one. Just so I can freely select my part. So I have this labeled as stock, I'm just gonna hide it.
Okay. So now things like adding operations, in this case, Mac one position one has the Z in the correct direction. I'll just click on this edge right here and just set up a pocket very quickly. If we take a look at that, pocket in that Z direction. Now, to do the drilled hole, that's where the index position comes in. So I'll just, once again, just add an operation like normal. In this case, we'll go with drilling. That drilled hole is on the subposition, so I'll just select it from my menu there. And you can see now the Z points in the correct direction. I'll go to New Geometry, click on the hole. Let's quickly just add a tool for that hole. and we have the tool coming from the proper direction. So for fourth axis work, essentially just, to, just in order to tell SolidCam what angle you'd like the tool to come from, it's just a subposition. Where the tool, uh, where the part is being set up on your machine, what it's rotating around is the Mach 1 position one. We set it as the center of revolution face. But as an example of what would you would do if you're working on a fourth axis part that you know the rotary axis, but you don't actually have a nicely cylindrical part like this. Let's just go to add. We'll set up a Mach 2 position one. So basically this, is, this will be a second offset. And if I don't have a revolved face, let's just say I had a perfectly uh, uh, pentagon shape kind of, um, kind of shape there, not, no revolution face, we can go to top center of model box. And this will just find the mathematical center of the part. So let's say I just choose Pentagon right there. You can see our Mac 2 position 1 is overlaid on top of there. It actually is dead center of that part. So that is also a way to tell SolidCam where the center axis would be, the rotary axis. Now, let's say we were doing the flat. So let's do the flat of the one side. I'll just go to add milling operation, pocket. We'll quickly set this up on Mac 1 position 1. Choose that edge right there. So let's say we milled that flat right there. One of the additional functions of the fourth axis module is that we can use a fourth axis transform. So if I right click on that and we go to transform, fourth axis, we have a toolpath at zero degrees and I'd like to repeat it for the other four faces. So we'll say include original operation, index it by 72 degrees, and we'll add in four other steps at 72 degrees. Click on insert and you'll see we've added a toolpath for the remaining faces. It automatically knows which axis to rotate around because this is a fourth axis part, and I've now faced or flattened the edges of that bar stock. Any questions on this or anything else from SolidCam, you can always call us at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can submit your parts or your questions via the ticket system at solidcamsupport.com or stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.